Welcome to River City Live. We are starting the show off right today with steak and bourbon to keep us warm on this really cold day. That's right. Happiness is a warm grill on a hot day. And with us are Chef Simi Temeso and Matt Lapal from Longhorn Steakhouse. And we have gorgeous steaks, delicious looking bourbon. And those are the things we're going to get to after we talk about a major accomplishment. Chef Simi is here with us. And what's going on? What happened? But uh, Semi has been with us for 25 years and uh, a couple different locations, but with the company for 25 years, which is really unheard of uh, to be with uh, for a cook and to grow up. Uh, his accomplishments have led up to over a million steaks that he is wow. grilled. Wow. You've over grilled a million steaks. A mil Congratulations. That's amazing. Yeah. Can we do a million and two? Today? <laughs> that a million and that's, three. No, that's yeah. truly incredible. I'm yeah. sure there was some mathematical equating that went into yeah. figuring that out. But what that basically means is we're among experts. Yeah, you and are I, a grill master. You right? are. You a are lot that. of people, they claim to be a grill master, huh? but you are. You truly are. Thank you for joining us right. today. We pride ourselves a lot with our, um, our, our experts at, at the grill because that is our bread and butter. Uh, we have four individuals in our company that's actually reached this milestone and Semi's one of the four. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So let's look at some of the yeah. uh, the great work that he's done already. I mean, yeah. we just so, watched that go from being just a... a yeah, so Semi's put together a couple of items for us. Okay. Um, the outlaw um, ribeye, bone and ribeye is what we have. He's picked out a couple of selections. We have a really lean and then we have a marble. And, um, you know, Semi will, will show you in, in demonstration where he's already got one prepared here. But um, we talk about boldly seasoned steaks, a lot of flavoring is who we are. And, and that's why we, uh, we also um, have paired up with Knob Creek because they have put together um, a single barrel that has that bold smoky flavoring as well. And it's, um, everybody has that misconception that it's always beer and wine, but uh, bourbon is definitely where it's at with a lot of our steaks. Now when you talk about bone in T-bone, right? Yeah. The bone, the flavor with that is really remarkable. It is. And that's one of the things that I didn't realize because you have like bone in filet mm -hmm. and all that other stuff. But as you get closer to that bone, it changes around the meat altogether in a steak. It does. Your, the, the bone itself uh, gives it a, a lot of flavoring and a lot of uh, steak experts. You'll have some that love that boneless um, filet, but you have a lot of our guests that will come in, especially because of this, because they love it on the char grill. They love that smoky flavoring. They love our seasoning um, that our, our company puts together, and it's one of a kind. And this seasoning, that's the Longhorn proprietary it seasoning. Is. But, yes. but by and large, is that a salty, spicy? What are we looking at there? This one here is more of a smoky flavor. Um, mm. It doesn't really have that much salt content, but it, like most seasoning, it does have its share. But um, more and more, it's like I said, it's, it has a great smoky, bold flavoring to it that really enhances the steak. The steak itself, I mean, you, if you cook a steak correctly and um, cook at the right temp, you, you can't go wrong. How but many with our times, seasoning. How many times should you pick that up and move it? Does it matter? Or are you trying to just kind of make sure that the lines aren't going one way over the other? I mean, it really it... depends on the temperature. Uh -huh. uh, if you're looking for a rare to mid rare, I mean, we like to uh, move our steaks anywhere from three to four uh, minutes. Uh, we'll flip it depending on the temperature and depending on if you're cooking on the hot spot. I mean, we try not to cook it too fast depending on it because we want that flavoring, the, that steak to really enhance that flavoring and cook up just to the right temperature. And um, but once, you, once you've established that, um, depending on the temperature of your grill, you'll definitely be able to flip it. And obviously you guys have it down to a science. You guys are perfectionists when it comes to that. Congratulations on your accolade. One million steaks cooked, that's amazing. Now to learn more about Longhorn, you go to the website, longhornsteakhouse.com. I don't know about you, Eden, but I'm ready to start eating and maybe even have a little bit of bourbon over I here. I just have to know one thing. I know we have to send it to Rance, but is that bourbon in that squirt bottle? No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, it's cooking oil. <laughs> oh, that's oil. Okay, I just wanted to find out. All right, so now we can send it over to Rance. There you go. <laughs>